So let's give this fight another try now. I have new strategies, new things all around. I think we'll be good. You are ready to suffer, I hope. Slow down to really do? three, so I know what's going on. Okay, Elvis, the fault right now. Adele will Godspeed as usual. Okay, good damage. We'll just get those devotions starting. Our spirit bringer should be able to heal us up from all those status ailments. Selene is dealt with. Very good. Yeah, thankfully, Seth is still around. I was kind of afraid he might be paralyzed, so he wouldn't be able to move. That's why Unshakable Will would be good, but I think we're fine. We'll just... Gloria was the last person to move, so we'll do our Defend the People, and... I know it'll only last for like one turn, maybe not even that, but I think it's worth having Harsh Reprisal on. Okay, let's... Godspeed. I think I want to get rid of Lily. Her barrage attacks and her human killer thing are actually pretty bad. Kind of hoping the heal isn't going to be good enough to. It should be fine. Glory is dead. Don't worry about it. To play my trump cards. We got sped last, right? Oh, I switched to got mimic. See whatever that hits. Good. Mimic's a cool guy. Shadowbringer kind of blows, but whatever. Uh, I was really hoping we get you before your garage started going. It's fine. Seth is handling all of these hits. Elvis is doing kind of good too, I think that's just because of Freelancer being OP stat-wise. Alright, Lily's dead. At some point, the revive, I think he was trying to heal Lily, but it was too late. At some point, the revive spirit should take effect. Guess we can still mimic, hopefully this will hit Roddy though. Good. It's not the most amount of damage from him, but it's still pretty alright. And here's that revive. Take the hit. Adele didn't take the hit too well. Hey, there's that revive again. Man, that revive spirit is fantastic. Not to mention the fact that there's also the one that is supposed to up our grade points, and I think that's been helping us get past our not enough MP. I was not paying attention. Time to play my trump. Uh, gets us past our negative brave points when I go into that. I wish the Mimic didn't take so long because it has to trigger the Mimic look and then the actual effect that it mimics, but it's fine. It's still good damage. Devotion. Stop healing, man. Adele, please. Oh, 
Thanks for bailing me out. <laughs> Alright, well, Roddy's gone now. <laughs> we should probably be pretty fine. Let's go again. Taking Seth a long time to get back to being able to defend the people. I kind of still think it might be better to bodyguard each individual themselves because I think that will last the whole turn compared to defending the people which only last three turns. Yeah, I think also with those break points where they are, it's definitely worth it. Because I'm not going to be doing the counter attacks because that, I think, triggers the counter and the ability thing too many times. Dang, I wish you would leave Adele alone. Oh, uh, well, Adele didn't get experience, but it's fine. We dealt with it. Easy fight, we got Bullhead Blades, and uh, that's it. Don't know why I was struggling. So there's three things that made that easier. One, basically up ten levels. I tried to use Elvis as a kind of stopping point because he got those levels from gambling. So any of the stats from that, obviously, are effective. Other thing is I did grind up all of the jobs that we had. Well, now we have new ones. But I grinded all of our jobs up so we have those skills. I mean, that's how I got the experience, too. So ability-wise, I have Adele with Brute Force, which increases physical attack by 50 when 3 BPs are spent. So I think all of the attacks that were active at the time did 50% extra damage, which is really big numbers. Um, additionally, like I mentioned, Elvis is freelancer, which means he has really high stats, but he will be able to mimic that and do the same thing, brute force. Uh, surpassing power didn't seem too necessary there because we're not getting too many crits. But yeah, so he basically can do that, and he can also help us with devotion if we needed it. Gloria stayed the same. I wanted to try Epic Group Cast and Full Force to see if there's a difference. I don't know if there really is. Didn't seem like there was that much, but whatever. I didn't know what else to do with her. And then Seth, I used Dual Shield, which is why he was able to take so many hits, I think. Because, man, does that just up your defense a lot. And I think that's even better than even trying to go with Spearhead. Uh, no Guts, No Glory helps with defense as well. Also, Noble Sacrifice on Gloria and on Seth, so when they take those big hits. It's pretty helpful with Gloria since she can survive with one hit, because then for the most part, if she survives one hit and ends up dying, it's because everyone else is dead, because like Seth isn't protecting her at that point if she's the only one left. So that's pretty good. Obviously, Seth is so bulky that if Noble Sacrifice procs on him, then there's a bigger problem. And uh, defensive offense wasn't really too necessary. I don't know. Honestly, what I probably should do is the uh, extra limit. Because I'm not attacking with him because he has the shield. Uh, also, he did get that new equipment. So, maybe I overgrind it level-wise and that's why. I would say... I need to see the... Um, what the stats and stuff are. Bullhead Blade gives you the Vanguard passive abilities. That's not too surprising. A bit more physical attack, but, you know, we don't really care about that right now. Maybe you want it. I mean, it'll give you more damage. Alright. Uh, I don't know what jo uh, abilities Vanguard has. Also, I do need to look at this stuff. Uh, Vanguard has the pain and gain and defensive offense. Not great abilities for that, but that's fine. Uh, increases the user's likelihood of being targeted by 50% for three turns. Performs an extremely powerful earth-imbued physical attack on a target. An extremely powerful physical attack on all targets, after which the user is less likely to be targeted until their next turn comes around. Interesting. They become less likely to be hit. But it's a big, strong attack. I had... Your secondary is Freelancer in case I wanted to try Body Slam, but I don't think that's worth it. Might be good to have a secondary be Vanguard. Uh, we got White Mage, which gives us 
Isuna, so I think that's just all of the other status ailments, which is great. And the Basuna ones too, that's great. When a target is healed beyond max HP, their max HP is temporarily increased by the remainder. So that's the target. That that's I think that's different from I mean it has to be different, right? But that's different from uh better than ever because it's when the user is healed. So I, I, that actually sounds great because that'll work on everyone with a Kiraga. And maybe it'll work with Healthbringer too. Revive multiple knocked out targets with full HP. That's also great. I like that one. Uh, we looked at you already. We had Run Mage, which has Quake and Tornado, which are just powerful Earth and Wind, which is all right. HP to MP converter. Using abilities during battle expends HP instead of MP, but at 10 times the MP cost. That's interesting. I don't know if that's really worth it. Like, arguably, it might be good with... I mean, it costs two. Now, I would say that's not really worth it. Oh, right. We didn't have Spirit Slayer before. Okay, well, it works on spirits. Bow Aptitude is S. Perform eight to fi uh, five to eight. Quick physical attacks on all targets. Extreme damage will be dealt to paralyzed foes. That's five to eight. What was this? Five to eight, but not to paralyze. Oh, extra. It is just a stronger version. Okay. I mean, that's all decent. Um, I think the white mage is probably the better one there. Circlet. I went and fought uh, the Glenn, Gladys, and Galahad again to try to get an item. I ended up getting the uh, foraging shovel, so Sal Maker passive abilities. But I also tried stealing, and I think I ended up stealing from Gladys, and I already got, like, Circlet before. I guess I should show the equipment I had also. Obviously, Seth is more defensive. Uh, Wizard's Robe I got from, I think, the Volcano Dungeon. I didn't really, I just kind of threw stuff on. I wanted to have the dagger so I can maybe mug the bosses. Didn't really shift that. I think it's still technically the best option damage-wise, and obviously Ripper for Ripper reasons. And I think I had Wave Song on specifically because I didn't have enough weight to have Give Amp Palu. But yeah, I'd say we're pretty powerful. It's, uh... I feel a little bad for, like, leveling up that much, if that's what the reason was. Although, frankly, I feel like I probably should have been leveled up more than I was for those fights anyways. And uh, I think that the brute force is probably what is making that a lot easier because of the high damage, high octane damage. Uh, let's do side quests right now actually switch you to white mage so we can start getting that stuff up i kind of want to be able to do above and beyond because i think that would be good and it's not like i am dead set on the abilities because i would get rid of two hands and probably epic group cast since full force works with health bringer just so i can maybe up their health a little bit extra than what they have i mean it might not be worth it but it Seems like a decent idea. Oh, let's uh, switch Seth to a Vanguard as well. He'll be overloaded, but that's fine. Do a sub job of that, and we'll uh, let's uh, give him battle axe and bloody. Nope. Not, not that, apparently. Some kind of good sword of any kind. That's the, like, least good ever. Spear of any kind, I think, uh... Look, right, the main thing I want is Bloody Shield. I really just don't have any weight options, do I? Just whatever, anything is fine. We'll spearhead. It doesn't matter at all. He should still be defensive. 
Do I switch Elvis to actually? Not you. We'll get him doing the run mage stuff. Oh, he already has it maxed because I had him on it already. I forget that's how that works. I'm still grateful that's how it works, but I keep forgetting. Uh, let's get him doing white mage as well then. And let's, for now, switch Gloria to the... Uh, not Gloria, Adele. I think she's... Well, with Gavin Pula, she should still be good with daggers. Just to try to get some job points up. It's so much easier when we have JP up on our party members, but I don't feel like setting that up right now. We also have to turn in some of the quests. I got that chest. I think we can get the last job things. Ah, someone's beating us too. By the looks of it, this place has been dug dry. Ah, come on! More junk! This stuff ain't worth diddly! I'm sorry I beat you up in the... It's no good. ...challenge Whatever room, Dad. I just turn up rubbish. I'm heading deeper in. What was it, the Hall of Retribution? The stuff is for sure. I would advise against this friend. The depths of the mine can I'm sure it's easy. Ferocious monsters. Bonza! That means no one will have had the guts to go down there. Which means rich pickings for little old me. And if I'm gonna do right by a certain someone, it's rich pickings or bust. Righto, there we go. I love you, Dag. Mom, I honestly actually did test out my build on the uh, Berserker Pictomancer Arcanist fight. It wasn't even a ch test like damage. I what I was gonna do. You need to put a staff on. What I wanted to try out was using Seth with the Typhoon Shield because it has Wind and Lightning Resistance plus two, and the Ice Fire Shield with Water and Fire Resistance plus two. So I wanted to see if that would protect us enough to not completely die to the magic. Also, I was going to use the Noble Sacrifice to try to survive as well. But then, when I went in with Brute Force, I was able to basically decimate the Arcanist real quick. And I didn't even actually equip the Holy Blade in that scenario either. But I, I reloaded the save after that, but I, I think we are fine. I don't remember how to get over there. Kind of hate all of these dungeons. I think I do have to actually climb up. Maybe go around this way. I think I actually went full circle. It's fine, I'll figure it out. I think I remember now. I think I have to go around just this way. I've solved it. Nope, I'm back where I started. How do I reach the zone? I have to go like under, right? Well, I can't believe I didn't hit those. Under and around? I think it was under and around. I've, I've solved it. Don't worry. Only took a minute. Maybe a little too much of a minute. I think this was when I was testing stuff, yeah. That was my save when I went to check it out. Oh, it's just a little golem fella. Not even like a unique boss. He's beautiful. It's hurt. And angry about it too. Look out everyone. It's coming this way. I shall show no mercy. But also, dual shields seems like it's super worth it because Seth barely Let took any damage. Help. And I feel like that had to do with the, uh... 
just how defensive we are. Let's go twice. I'm gonna... Heroics and Enrage. Not heroics. I'm gonna try defending people. We'll see how Enrage works with that. I need to steal some spirit. I should let us Godspeed. Does Enrage take the counter? That's pretty slick if it does. Do a regular Cura on everyone. So that gets full force and Epic Cure. I hope that that does like... Additional... Bonus to that? I don't know. I don't know if it like stacks good or if it just uh, triggers both effects. I don't really have anything to do right now. Maybe having everyone be healers wasn't necessary. So let's just do Enrage and uh, Harsh Reprisal. I guess we can Spirit. Extra Brave. I kind of wish each Spirit symbol had like something unique next to it so we knew what it was. Like a num- uh, not a number, but like a letter, like B for the Brave Spirit. I mean, I think you can still see that in the uh, info screen. Oh no, Seth! I'm kind of surprised that didn't kill you. We'll uh, do a raise and cure Raga. There's really no reason to use a rise because of how high my restoration is. Just, I don't know, when I panic, I like to do it often. Um, what are you? Hephaestus? It's Devotion and it's Magnifying Glass. I don't think you can do too much besides the fact that you killed Seth, but... Yeah, we're actually close to done with you. You are about to witness my true power! Now you've made me mad! It should be over after the Scott speed. Good counter physical, my man. Damn it. Just a little bit more. Make sure Seth is healthy. Prepare to meet your Goodbye. Still love the way they fall. This Definitely would have gotten a lot more job points if I had JP up on everyone. Makes me a little upset, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Whew. That thing was tough. Hey, this part of the mine is probably pretty untouched, right? Aye, the monsters will have kept folks at bay, which means all a plenty for us. Oh yeah. Let's get digging. I wonder what happened to whoever heard that thing. Was it Dag? It was probably Dag. I'm gonna just teleport out of here. I had um pretty bad luck trying to fight the other asterisk rematches again just to get their items like I mentioned I was able to get the shovel from salve maker but everyone else I got nothing I did actually get another one of the thief daggers which was a little upsetting because I was hoping for this I'm assuming spear from the beastmaster since um Adele not Adele why am I, why am I going all nuts with names Anna hell Hold a spear, so like that seems like that's how that works, basically. It's just all of their weapons, obviously. But I figured that would be good to have on Seth if I'm gonna still do spear head, but one, I might not. 
I might keep him doing double shield duty. And, uh, two, I don't even know if the spear is good stat-wise. I have to see, like, the under-over. Because, like, for the most part, ability-wise, the, um, Beastmaster has some good stuff. MP Saver, Raw Power, Brute Force, Spearheads. I would get all of that with with that spear. Uh, hello again, I think sir. that would maybe be We're worth back. it. If the stats oh, are good oh, enough. Oh, so I see. So I see. And you return victorious. Yes. I saw it. Saw the shadow recede. The blackness pass. You have done well, boy. The city is safe thanks to you. <laughs> I was wondering if I could ask you something. You mentioned seeing the same light as you see in me, in some other travelers? Oh yes, 50 years ago it must be now, four, five Wow, it's like the heroes of light. That's why we have light in us. Poor the light, so bright, so perfect, as to be almost crystalline. Crystalline, huh? Oh yes, oh yes, a light so beautiful, I came to name them for it. The heroes of light. For them, you name them? This was enough to pierce the darkness of even a blind man's eyes. Enough to bring hope to a world assailed by shadows. Ho ho ho! And do you know, the name stuck, spread even, yes. And now it shall be yours too. You must take the name, become the heroes of light. For the brightness you have brought into the darkness of my world is the same. Oh, we couldn't possibly. Oh, but you can. And you will. Yes. <laughs> Why, even your diffident manner echoes that of one who came before you. The swordsman, yes. He too was wont to hide his light under a bushel. <laughs> and yet he and his companions went on to greatness, and their tale was told across the land. I hope soon to hear the tale of your adventures too. Oh yes. Ho, ho, ho. Well, Genji Arbor might be cool. I kind of feel like we have a lot of like better stuff probably. And also I feel like it's going to weigh a lot. It might not be worth putting on. I'll take a look at it though. So the Mox in the Volcano was beaten 50 years back too. I and for a little more than gratitude, as far as I can tell, there's some baffling selfless sorts in this world, eh? Ha, huh, yeah, and you're one of them. I've lost count of how many times we've done people favors for free since I started hanging out with you. We do it for the Genji armor, never for free. Yeah, ha, <laughs> now you mention it, we do do our own our fair share of good turns, eh? Heh, then I guess you're bafflingly selfless, too. Hey, I don't do it deliberately, I just forget to ask, you know. Well, I agree with the baffling part, at least. By the way, was anyone else intrigued by what the old man said? I kind of started blanking out, Gloria. About the four fine young companions from 50 years ago. Who could they be? You really think it was Sir Sloan and the others? Probably. I'd like to believe so, yes. It's nice to think the others have fond memories of him, too. Was I able to play cards with you ever? No, you're new! Aw, oh, snap! I'm gonna have to save, though. I gotta get that save going in case he steals all my cards.